Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drip pan in a Whirlpool refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a quarter-inch nut driver and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drip pan. The purpose of the drip pan is to collect the condensation that builds up on the evaporator coil during the defrost cycle. It's located inside the machine compartment at the bottom left. The sure sign of the broken drip pan is a puddle of water that regularly appears on the floor under the fridge. Place the towel on the floor under the inlet tube. Then, using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the single screw that holds the tube to the rear access panel. After that, we can remove the seven screws that hold the panel. And then, lift up and remove the panel. Slide out the power cord. and remove the access panel. Clean the access panel grill for better airflow. Remove the drain tube by pulling it up. The drip pan is on the left and in the middle under the condenser motor shroud. Now we are facing the tricky part. To take the shroud out, we have to twist it very gently and then slowly pull it out. Push the bottom in and pull the top out a bit at the time. The two retainers will come off the mounts and then you will be able to remove the shroud with the condenser motor. Gently lift the copper line out of the retainer clip on the right so it will clear the drip pan. Using the flat blade screwdriver, free the tabs in front and lift out the old drip pan. As you can see, it's cracked and caused a leak. This is the old drip pan next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Install the new drip pan. Lock the tabs. Place the copper tubing in the clip. Be very gentle with bending that copper line. Install the drain tube. And now the fun part. Place the bottom of the shroud in, twist it and slowly push back. You need to lock the bottom clips on a new drip pan. Install the access panel. Make sure the water line is outside. Slide the power cord into the cutout. Secure the access panel with the seven quarter inch screws. Secure the water inlet line to the access panel with a single quarter inch screw. Plug the refrigerator in and watch it for a couple of days to see if there's any water puddles on the floor. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, 
please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.